day. And today we are going to be doing the VIX Vapor Rub Weight Loss Challenge. So I like to test theories and I've been seeing this challenge flying around. Basically what people do is put VIX on their tummy, wrap themselves up and they go to sleep and then wake up and post their results to see if they lost weight. Now I'm gonna challenge this just because I think when you first wake up, that's when you're like the most skinniest. So I don't think it's completely accurate. So I wanna test this my own way. And right now it's currently like two o'clock, like two something in the afternoon. And I wanna test this just to see if this is accurate, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. So first I'm gonna be doing this during the day. So I'm gonna be wearing the VIX and the waist trainer throughout my whole day, eight hours which is equivalent to eight hours of sleep. And second, I'm going to be doing this for three days in a row, not just one day. So I'm gonna do this three days in a row and during the day to see if the results actually do something. But basically it's supposed to reduce your bloating and your water weight. So you're supposed to appear slimmer, but we're gonna see. I wanna test this. I want accurate results. So I'm not gonna to lie to you guys. I have, um, a measuring tape i just got this because i did start this challenge like last week but i wanted i didn't have a measuring tape and i know there's people out there that really rely on numbers and facts so i got a measuring tape for accuracy and what i'm going to be doing is here you can barely see but i wrote day one day two day three and the end results and i'm going to take my measurements and write them down each time all you need for this challenge is clearly some VIX. I got the um, off-brand Walmart one. I don't think it matters. It has the same ingredients, so whatever. Um, some cling wrap, which is just like saran wrap. Um, a waist trainer. This is my new waist trainer I just got. Pretty cool. And um, for accuracy, you want a tape measure. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm about to apply the VIX, go ahead and wrap myself in saran wrap and put the waist trainer on. And then for my day today, I'm pretty much just sitting, like I'm not even really being active today. I have a ton of schoolwork to do. So for the next like five, six hours, I'm gonna be in front of my laptop. I have two exams, two assignments and a lab that's all due before midnight. So fun. All right, so let me... I'm not sucking in, this is my front front this is my side no sucking in this is me sucking and that's just normal so normal okay so this is my side profile this is my back but i'm trying to show y'all i don't want to get flagged but this is my back and then this is my side no sucking sucking no sucking so that's my profile. I'm gonna take my measurements now and then go ahead and put the stuff on. Okay, so I put it on the side of inches because that's how you're gonna measure our waist and stuff. And what I'm gonna do is my lower, if it'll stay, put my lower and my um, like actual waist. So I'm gonna do like my lower abdomen, which is, 33, my lower is 33. Next, I'm going to do my, oh my God, it's so hard. So my shirt keeps coming down. I'm trying to show y'all, like for real. Okay, and now I'm doing like my waist, which is a 28. I have a 20 in, 28 inch around. So that's my measurements for day one. So now, I'm going to lift my shirt, take some big vapor rub, take a pretty generous amount, and just put it all over my stomach. All over, all over, all over. And you're gonna put it all over your stomach, and I put it on my sides, on my back, like literally just all over your midsection, sides, front, back, but mainly your front, like a lot of your front. And then your back and your sides. Next, what we're gonna do is put the cling wrap and wrap it around, I'd say like 
three or four times is good. I know some people do more, but you just take it. Just try to do it like as tightly as you can. I'm just gonna stop there because I feel like it's serving its purpose. So I just broke it and you're just gonna like pat it and let it stick to itself. And that's what the saran wrap, this is what the saran wrap looks like. So next what I'm gonna do is put on my waist trainer which is honestly such an amazing waist trainer so far. It's very comfy. My last one used to like scratch me and leave marks on me. And this one was like, I think $20 off Amazon. And it has like three different components you can do. First is the clasp part. So like, it's like a corset kind of thing. Like I put mine on this one, the one that's on the inside. On it next, it zips. So, like a zipper, you just gonna zip it up. Next, this is the part that really is gonna like suck you in. It has this like velcro, and I take it and I try to get it as tight as possible. I did it more in detail for the first day, but for the next two days, like the other two days, I'm gonna be doing it fairly quickly I just want to demonstrate exactly how you will put it on and then for the other two days I'm just gonna like go right into it the current time is 209 so that means that I will be wearing this for eight hours and I'm not allowed to take it off my body until 10:09 p.m. is when I can take it off so at 10:09 p.m. or after 10:09, then I will be coming back on camera to take it off and get my end of the night measurements if that makes sense so every day i'm going to get the beginning and the end of me putting it on and taking it off so that y'all can see like step by step if i'm actually like shrinking or whatever for this challenge they say it's supposed to start like burning but if you've never used vix rub like it has that like peppermint effect like on your skin so i feel like that's what they mean by like the burning but we're gonna see, it feels fine right now. So I guess if it starts to feel weird or however, if I start to feel anything, I'll record like how it feels. But right now I feel totally fine. Like I'm good. And I'm about to start my assignments. See y'all later. It is 12, 13 and I'm about to take this off. about to go shower and then get ready for bed because it is after midnight so yeah but i'll see y'all tomorrow it is so late it's 3 56 because i decided to stay up all night so i'm gonna have this freaking waist trainer on until like 12 o'clock it's like 29 and a half is 32 and a half and basically all the numbers are kind of like fluctuating up and down. <laughs>
Sweet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. not gonna tell you something works and it doesn't so for me this challenge did not work um, I have my measurements all on this paper and I started off on my waist on day one a 29 inch waist and like the lower part of my stomach as y'all saw it was 33 inches in results of day three I had 29 inches around my waist and I had 32 inches around my stomach so Basically, with these numbers, my weight kept fluctuating. It just kept going up and down. And that's what your weight does. So I think for these challenges, people do it overnight. And it looks like, you know, they got slimmer because when you first wake up, like that's the skinniest that you like are during the day, you know? And then once you start eating, you know, bloating and all of that, your weight fluctuates. So that's why I chose to do this during the day so that we can get the real deal results because I'm not gonna tell you something works and it doesn't work, like that's just not me. And for me personally, it didn't work, but that's okay, we're gonna move on. So I'm on a weight loss journey, that's why I decided to share this with you guys and put myself out there with my huge belly, oh my God. But this is the biggest I've ever been, like in high school, I was a size zero, size one, so like I got bigger and I'm very self-conscious about it. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing like a weight loss journey. Right now I am currently doing the Chloe Ting challenge and that is a two week challenge. I am filming that for y'all and I wanna see my results um, as far as doing that. And I will share it with you guys just for inspiration purposes, if I can help somebody else. Overall, this challenge didn't really work the way that it is described. Like you're not gonna magically shed all your weight just from doing this, especially one night. Like they say do it one night and I did it for three. I don't want you to be misled and I wanna give y'all the real deal. I wanna be honest with y'all and I don't want to say that things work and they don't work so this is the proof right here i did it for three days and now we're gonna move on and you know keep it pushing i'm really excited for the chloe ting challenge just because it is april now and summer is around the corner i've just seen a lot of people overly fabricated like they magically lost all this weight doing this challenge and that is not true like that's not true especially when you go to sleep thinking that you know you'll wake up skinny and when you first wake up like yeah like your body's banging when you first wake up in the morning like that's just how it is okay guys that has been my vix vapor rub challenge experience i hope you guys enjoy even though it didn't work but i hope you guys enjoy any way that i was real enough to give y'all the actual real answer of does it work um i hope you guys give this video a thumbs up Comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and turn your post notification bell on so the next time that I drop a video, you'll be notified. I love you guys, and I will see y'all in my next video.